Tetanus, Clostridium Silent Threat. Introduction. Tetanus communicable diseases, often known as lockjaw, is a potentially fatal but completely preventable disease that has long haunted humanity from ancient. Caused by the bacterium Clostridium tetani, tetanus takes its grip through the channel of open wounds, delivering a powerful neurotoxin that wreaks havoc on the nervous system. With symptoms that include painful muscle spasms and rigidity, tetanus can turn even a minor injury into a life-threatening condition. Despite advances in medical science, Tadanus continues to pose a health threat, especially in regions with limited access to healthcare and vaccination. This document supports appropriate awareness, exploring the causes, symptoms, prevention, and global efforts to combat this age-old menace. Cause of tetanus Tetanus is caused by Clostridium tetani, a bacterium found in soil, dust, and animal feces. When tetanus spores enter the body through a cut, puncture wound or other skin injury, they can germinate in an oxygen-poor environment and produce tetanospasmin, a potent neurotoxin. The toxin quickly moves through the bloodstream into target organs of the body, interfering with nerve signaling. Symptoms and Complications of Tetanus The incubation period for tetanus typically ranges from 3 to 21 days. Early symptoms include stiffness in the jaw and neck muscles, hence the nickname lockjaw. As the disease progresses, individuals may experience difficulty swallowing, severe muscle spasms and respiratory distress. In the absence of timely intervention, complications like fractures, pneumonia or death may occur. Prevention through vaccination. Prevention is the cornerstone of tetanus control. The tetanus vaccine, part of the diphtheria tetanus pertussis DTAP immunization series, is highly effective in providing long-term protection. Booster doses are recommended every 10 years to maintain immunity. Proper wound care and hygiene also play crucial roles in minimizing risk. Treatment Options Once tetanus develops, treatment focuses on neutralizing the toxin and managing symptoms. Antitoxins, such as human tetanus immune globulin, can help stop the toxin's spread to vital organs of the body. Antibiotics are used to target the bacteria, while muscle relaxants and sedatives alleviate spasms. In severe cases, mechanical ventilation may be required to support breathing. Global Challenges and Progress Irrespective of the availability of potent and effective vaccines, tetanus remains a public health issue in many low-income countries. Neonatal tetanus, caused by unsanitary birth practices, is a leading cause of infant mortality in many regions. Global initiatives like the World Health Organization's Maternal and Neonatal Tetanus Elimination Program have made significant strides. Sustained efforts are needed to eradicate this preventable disease. Conclusion Tetanus stands as a stark reminder of the devastating impact of vaccine-preventable diseases, especially in underserved regions. While modern medicine and vaccination programs have drastically reduced its prevalence, continued vigilance is essential to protect vulnerable populations. Raising awareness about tetanus, promoting widespread vaccination and ensuring access to proper medical care are pivotal in the fight against this silent but deadly adversary. United through education and action, we can work toward a world free from the grip of tetanus. Finally, it is essential to take tetanus threats seriously and respond appropriately to ensure safety and wellness.